Hello everyone and welcome to new discussion. Today we are going to discuss uh, different sources of uh, free satellite images uh, because uh, so far what we have discussed uh, details about remote sensing, how data is gathered and how it is processed, some applications we have also discussed. But when you start your own work, uh, then you would be requiring satellite images. And uh, uh, earlier we used to buy satellite images which used to be very costly affair. But nowadays lot of uh, free satellite data of uh, very good quality, high quality is available from different uh, uh, sources. And of course these are internet sources, so I thought that uh, it is now uh, dis discuss this thing, uh, this aspect also because now we are approaching towards the end of uh, this course. So before uh, I go for the last lecture, I thought that I will also discuss this part which is very, very important. And after all, uh, we have to analyze the data, we have to get the data and from where we will get that part we will be discussing, the current uh, sources of data. So you know the uh, uh, this uh, remote sensing or uh, such data sets are available of course from web portals of different agencies uh, from uh, starting from NASA which is US agency to European agency ESA and ISRO also and uh, ISRO instead of directly from ISRO we get the data from NRSA. So all that we will be discussing. Also data from all these uh, resources or agencies are available of the almost entire world except for uh, uh, NRSA data and uh, available data at uh, various spatial resolutions and various types of data. Various types of data that means the visible infrared, thermal infrared data is available and same time radar, uh, microwave, active microwave data is also available for SAR interferometry analysis. And sometimes you also get very good softwares like from European Space Agency in order to process sentinel data uh, or NVSAT data earlier which was uh, which we used to handle uh, all the softwares can also be downloaded from these sites. So we will, we, will dis we will be discussing in detail all those and not only one can download uh, some of the latest greatest uh, satellite uh, images but also at no charge. So these are free of course some of the uh, these web portals will ask you to get registered, some will not even ask to registration and you can just uh, go them, go on those sites, search your uh, data and uh, you will get the link and you start downloading. I will be showing some examples of interfaces of such web, web portals as well. Uh, but uh, before you download the data, you must know for which area you would like to download the data. So area of interest first should be decided and uh, uh, that based on that then you start searching for the data on different portals. Uh, as I have mentioned, already mentioned that uh, registration, some portals may require registration, it is generally free, so no issue, just provide your email address, name and organization and uh, within few minutes you are having access to the data. Uh, why uh, these agencies go for registration of users? Because they would like to know that who are using their data, how many people are using their data sets. Because after all they, they too have to be answerable to their uh, countries or government and therefore uh, this is required. There is no nothing kind of spying or anything but just to know that who are using their data, for what purposes they are using the data. And the, the, the data sets are offered by USGS Earth Explorer which is one of the very popular uh, web portal for downloading the data of uh, USGS that is United States Geological Survey which offers uh, abundance of data sets, various data sets are available from this web portal and uh, acknowledge world supporter for of free data providers access to Landsat satellite data. So this USGS Earth Explorer, there are various uh, web portals may provide even the same type of data. So it is as per your convenience because different web portals are having different kind of web uh, you know interfaces to search and download the data. So the one which you like you can start downloading the data. That means what I am trying to say then like for example Landsat, Landsat data 
even latest data may be available on three four portals so there is a it is not necessary that only usgs uh, you would download you can download from other also so uh, access to the satellite data because the landsat data is very uh, popular one and uh, there is a continuity from 1972 onward so more than 40 years of history of uh, this landsat data is available in many spectral bands for entire globe and uh, also you can download the astra data and uh, satellite topo uh, topographic mission that is srtm also data or that is uh, digital elevation models so two different uh, digital elevation models and that uh, that two on two uh, many uh, spatial resolutions like astar and srtm dms can also be downloaded from earth explorer nasa uh, land data products and services includes hyperion hyperspectral data as well so the when we have been discussing hyperspectral remote sensing at that time i mentioned that uh, there is one only one satellite which is hyperion and that can provide the data so hyperion data is also available but it may not be available for entire globe in a continuous fashion as compared to landsat data but nonetheless some data sets for your own analysis and, in, and interpretations and having experience of uh, um, processing such data are also available and uh, very other popular data on daily basis because of the coverage of the uh, globe uh, on daily basis by modis and avhrr sensor a yeah, modis is on terra and aqua satellites avhrr on noaa series of satellites so the data sets of land surface reflection and uh, dispersed radar radar data can also be downloaded from esgs so usgs earth explorer is a one one of the biggest uh, resources of such data sets when you go and open this web portal this is how you start getting the interface and then and uh, on the left side there are various uh, options are available you just uh, go and download the data make your query search for results provide your location search the data and once uh, that is there you get the data and uh, the links available and then you can download the data the next uh, very popular uh, resource web resource and uh, that is esa and that too for the sentinel data and uh, you know both uh, um, normal data that is visible infrared data as well as uh, your radar data interferometric data can also be downloaded from european space agency and that is a satellite uh, data sets sentinel data sets and uh, sentinel 2a and 2b have higher spatial resolution that is 10 meter visible and infrared that is also available free of cost you can also download sentinel a uh, high quality passive and active data that is uh, microwave data active data microwave data interferometry data and uh, this uh, sentinel 2a 2b data is available in 12 spectral bands of entire globe and this is what the c band uh, synthetic aperture radar interferometry data sets from sentinel 1 for uh, for entire world it is available let me give you very latest example of uh, about this data set how useful it is that only very recently there were earthquake in pakistan occupied kashmir pok and we wanted to analyze the ground deformations which might have induced by that particular earthquake and we just downloaded as pre earthquake and post earthquake data and in within few hours we could do the analysis and prepare the ground deformation map very accurately and very promptly so that's the advantage of having and uh, data sets from esa of the sentinel 1 active microwave interferometry data and also it is free of cost it is available quickly once the data has been acquired within few minutes it is available on the portal to for downloading so this is how when you go on this side this is how you get the copernicus uh, open access hub and there you start searching the data lot of options are there and once uh, you are sure that you want to download the data click on the link and get on your machine now another web portal which is noa class uh, is there uh, which currently noa uh, that is national data centers ndc supports poes data dmsp dm 
DMSP is the passive microwave remote sensing data. Then GOES data, METOP, METOP, METOP data, JSON data and many data are there, but these data generally are having relatively coarser resolution data. So, if you are working on continental scale, then these data sets can also be downloaded and uh, they also provides the archive data collection. Most of these sites will provide you archive uh, from NP, N, NPP, JPSS and uh, earlier we used to know about NPOS, uh, GOES are JSON 3 and many other data, uh, satellite data which might be available in future. High quality atmospheric data sets can also be downloaded from these. Uh, this is what is uh, again the NOAA site, NOAA class site about uh, this uh, class is here and uh, you can uh, create a user account and then start downloading the data. The best practice if you are looking for ground data, uh, ground uh, for the satellite data is to spend some time on individual portals and uh, explore the portal exhaustively. And I am sure that after uh, say half an hour or one hour, you would be very comfortable, you would know where exactly I have to go and search the data and from where I will download. So, just uh, going first time may, may, may give you impression that oh it is too heavy uh, to search for the data. So, the best thing is spend some time and uh, in half an hour time or one hour time you would be, you are going to be comfortable with that particular portal and you start downloading the data. Now there is a another uh, web portal by NASA, earlier we saw the USGS that was also from USA, NASA is also from USA, that is earth data search, it is uh, available, uh, it is a huge archival data is available of various satellites and it is I tell you it is very good uh, uh, portal for getting free data and that, uh, uh, that data provides of uh, aqua terra that is modest data of aqua era. Uh, TRMM and uh, NASA DC, NVSAT data, MeteoSAT data, GOES, Landsat, SMAP and uh, many, many such data sets are available from these uh, including data from GPS satellites uh, for various uh, kind of analysis. Sometimes uh, uh, you might be requiring that data, so that data set can also be downloaded from earth data search. And uh, uh, as I am already mentioned that user may find initially bit difficult to navigate and uh, then uh, uh, to search the data sets. This, uh, this is general impression, this is how the, exp the, the first time visitor experiences that oh it is too cluttered, it is having too much uh, difficult to navigate through different options. But as I said the, the best practice is spend some time on that web portal. I am sure in half an hour or one hour time you would be very comfortable. There are various ways of narrow down search, 30 ways to narrow down search. So, various options are available how to find out the best data. So, we start with a simple search, the first best practice for such a, a you know big portals and then change the time range criteria you go to that time which for which you, you are looking for the data, further narrow down search and finally download free satellite data sets. So, that, that is way uh, you, can, uh, you can be very comfortable, this is the interface of that earth uh, data search uh, uh, portal, various data sets are available and uh, various ways you can search, 30 ways here. You, you type here location of any part of the globe, that location will come. You can use your geographic search, you can use some polygon, overlay, add that layer and overlay that one and then you get the, uh, the appropriate data whichever you are looking. Say for example, I am looking for NOAA data, I might get the indices of NOAA data or links of NOAA data and then I go for download. There is another web portal for different type of satellite data that is earth observation link EOLI in short that is European Space Agency client for earth observing catalog and ordering services and uh, one can preview most of these web portals so far which we I have discussed will allow you to see the data 
in a quick uh, look format that is in preview format before you download the data. Advantage of that one that you can assess the uh, cloud coverage initially and uh, you can also know roughly that whether your area of interest is being covered in that particular scene which you have selected for download or not. Because um, before and, and avoiding preview and just downloading the data and later on on your system you are seeing uh, the image and you find that it is not covering your area or it is having cloud cover, it would be a wastage of time. So, the good practice is once you have selected the data, look for the preview. Most of these portals will, pro, um, portals will provide the preview, have a look, spend some time, zoom it and once you are sure then you go for download link. So, this uh, earth observation link provides the data of NBSET, ERS, ICONOS, DMC, ALOS, SPOT, COMPSET, PROVA, IRS, SC. Even IRS data need not to be directly from NRSA, but from other organization of different countries. So, in that way you can have uh, the data access to the data. IRS data is generally available free of cost only after 3 years of data acquisition. And uh, there are um, various searches, downloading may be little slow uh, for this portal. This is how it looks like uh, uh, how to access the data. Sometimes you also get the tutorials available. So, you can uh, spend some time on tutorials, learn a quick way, best way to download the data, search the data and then download the data. So, these are the uh, web portals for that. Now, a one more web portal which is National Institute for Space Research INPE is available. That is a partnership between Brazil and China has their own image catalog of uh, remote sensing or satellite data which allows to download uh, such data sets. And this data sets include the China Brazil Earth Resources Satellite 2 and a 2B and uh, these uh, CBERS2, CBERS2B, all these satellite data is available. It also includes satellite from United States, United Kingdom and other countries and other satellite including India, data from Aqua, CBERS, Landsat. See the Landsat, Landsat data uh, might be available from various web uh, portals. Sometimes one web portal might be having only the older data, may not be the latest data or some web portals might be having the entire data set. So, you have to search and find out. Just making search on one web portal and thinking that that is the only data set available from Landsat will not be sufficient. So, all these resources, web resources should be searched and then you get the data. Resource set is of course, Indian data which is also available and Terra Aqua data, UK TMC data, all kinds of data is available. One has to be little careful sometimes uh, and the web portals might not be in English. So, you have to get uh, translated uh, from Portuguese to English. Those options are available like here this is the example that it is in Portuguese and uh, you can definitely get it translated through uh, web only. That is not a big deal. Now, come to our own Indian uh, web portal for downloading the data and the web portal is our Bhuvan. Earlier Bhuvan used to require the registration and uh, only later you we used to get the access to the data. Now, it is registration free and uh, you have to uh, basically install a, an app earlier. Now, even you do not have to install the app and directly it will open and do it. So, it is really, uh, basically a, as I said uh, it has in really big strides in, in satellite remote sensing technology because earlier we we were buying each and every data set from uh, NRSA and DC that is national data center of NRSA. Now, most of the data set is available, older data sets is available free of cost from this web portal that is Bhuvan. Uh, data sets up to 1988 because that is the first time when we launched our own Indian remote sensing satellite IRS-1A. So, onward 1980 it, it was the month of March. So, March 1988 onward and uh, data on, on this web portal is available and uh, geo, uh, geo platform is uh, this is the India's geo platform and uh, it's, uh, most of the data is for India only. As I have mentioned earlier also 
that Bhuvan provides data only for India and maybe little bit on the surrounding countries. That data can be downloaded. It includes the hyperspectral IMS data also to limited extent, not fully for the entire country. It has in, having data on Carto set, it is having ocean set, resource set, and Carto set derivatives that is digital elevation models at a higher spatial resolution, maybe 5 meter resolution. Uh, available on this site as well. And uh, these are the products which are available and derivatives not only the raw data but derivatives like NDVI uh, for entire India or part of India, global coverage and uh, Carto DM that is uh, Carto set digital elevation model and uh, uh, available for SARC countries. And some climate products are also available for North Indian Ocean region also. This is how it will look uh, when you go for the uh, web portal and uh, using this uh, address, then you get the uh, this kind of thing. As I mentioned, India and little surrounding countries are there. So, up to Pakistan and uh, uh, maybe up to Sri Lanka. Here you search, uh, here you make the uh, search that what you want to download, whether you want to download satellite data or products or pro, uh, program projects and accordingly you will uh, go and make the search. You can uh, have the latitude longitude, use the grid, there are different search options are available and then finally the link would be available for download like here. Uh, you can also download the handbook, you can also download the Carto set brochure and other things for detailed information about these products. Now, this is Japanese agency that is JAXA Global Allos 3D World and uh, this is a, is a 30 meter spatial resolution digital surface model or uh, you know uh, because the technique has been different. So, they instead of calling digital elevation model and uh, they would like to call as digital surface model and that means that uh, objects uh, like vegetation and other things are not included and may one may find. Uh, this at this resolution a very accurate uh, digital elevation model from ALOS uh, satellite. And this DSM has been made available to the public at 30 meter which is quite good. It is a global scale digital elevation model and uh, this, uh, uh, this time using the advanced land observing satellite that is Daiichi or also called ALOS Pulsar L band that is microwave data that is why it, it have been possible to go for DSM digital surface model. If we, if we go for stereo pairs like in Carto set, then you can produce the digital elevation model. But when we go for radar data, then it is possible to get the digital surface model rather than digital elevation model. So, this is this can be in many application one can find DSM is much more accurate than a simple DM. JAXA SAR mosaics are excellent development for global elevation models. This is how it will look ALOS 2, ALOS uh, and a global digital surface model DSM and 3D world and that is a 30 meter resolution. So, again similar way almost uh, the search part in most of these portals are almost same. You need to have a uh, corner latitude longitude uh, coordinates and uh, rest uh, rest uh, uh, that uh, you can do manage very well. So, it is not uh, very difficult to search for the data. If you are having already an area of study in form of polygons, most of these uh, portals will also allow you to add your polygon and based on that polygon the search can be made. There are some other web portals uh, which one can go explore and can get the data which he might be looking. Like NOAA data set access viewer that is discover authoritative uh, data sets and uh, this is the address then veto vision course vegetation data. If somebody is working on vegetation change and DVI and other things. So, relatively course resolution spatial resolution data might be available. Then NOAA digital coast if somebody is working on uh, coastal area that data can also be available. Global land cover facilities that is derived uh, satellite data that is also available and then digital globe free product samples are also sometimes say uh, this digital globe will provide very high resolution satellite images very high resolution might be uh, you know 60 centimeter or 1 meter 
but only sample data not throughout but if uh, for certain purpose if sample data is sufficient you can still download. Then there is Geo Airbus intercontinental champions of satellite imagery. So, there are various uh, uh, other portals are also there apart from uh, NASA's USGS, ESA and Bhuvan. There are other portals from where you can download the data. So, happy downloading data.